Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So on Tuesday, Congress voted to censor Representative Rashida Talib. And I just want to take some time to share my thoughts about that decision. Uh, as many people may know, Rashida Talib is the only Palestinian American in Congress. And Congress voted to censor her because she made statements about Gaza and Israel. And here's what I have to say about that. Number one, I stand with Rashida Talib. I stand with her. I stand by her. I support her 100% on this issue. What is happening in Gaza is genocide. There's no way to gloss over it. There's no way to, to sugarcoat it. That's what's happening over there. Israel is committing genocide against the Palestinian people, period. They are indiscriminately killing civilians. Their politicians have made racist statements against the Palestinian people, calling for the annihilation of Palestinian people, they have called, you know, one of them even called for the dropping of a nuclear bomb in Gaza. What is happening there is genocide. What is happening there is ethnic cleansing. And it is a shame that Congress voted to uh, censor Representative Rashida Taleb, but they haven't said a word about the atrocities that Israel is committing against the Palestinian people. They voted to censor a woman for speaking out against the injustice, the oppression and genocide that's going on there. That's like people censoring someone for speaking out against slavery. That's like people deciding to censor someone for speaking out against the Holocaust. That's what side of history Congress is on. And history will absolve uh, Representative Rashida Taleb. We are no longer in the age where the pro-Zionist lobby can hide behind corporate media. We're no longer in that age now. With modern technology, we see you. We see what you are doing to the Palestinian people. We see the bombs falling. We see the dead babies. We see the dead women and men, innocent women, men, and children killed by Israel. Thousands upon thousands of them. We see this atrocity going on. We see the dead bodies. We see the brutality. We see the bombing of homes. We see the bombing of hospitals. We see the bombing of uh, churches and mosques. We see the bombing of refugee camps. You can't erase that reality and you can't not erase it by censoring a courageous woman for speaking truth to power without fear. So yeah, I stand with the sister. I stand with her, I stand by her, I support her, and I support the Palestinian people. I am in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Free Palestine, free Gaza, and, you know, we need to support this woman. And we need to support the Palestinian people. We need to be in solidarity with all oppressed people.